All right, first thing, let's get rid of this cube. And then we're going to add a plane. So add mesh plane. And then let's go ahead and go to our material properties. Hit that plus. Hit the new. And then we're going to go base color. We're going to click that little dot or node, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to add an image texture. And then we're going to open and find the picture we're going to use. And I'm going to go to preview mode. And there it is. So now, let's go ahead and go into UV shading. And I'm going to select all of this box. And then I'm going to scale it down so that it fits the top of the X-Wing. looks pretty good okay so now I'm gonna switch back to object mode and I'm going to make a copy of this duplication so I hit shift and D and then I hit enter so now I've made a, co a duplicate on top of the original and what I want to do is rotate this 90 degrees along this x-axis so to do that I press R for rotate and then X for X axis and then 90 because I want it to go 90 degrees and hit enter. So now you can see there it is. And then let's go back into edit mode. And we're going to move this. So we just hit G for grab. And let's just try to fit this kind of that looks pretty good yeah that's pretty good I can live with that alright let's go back to modeling and again you can't see right so we have to click now we're good Okay, let's start modeling. So we're going to add a cube. Oh, oh. Big mistake. Okay, so what happened here? And this is a good thing for you to learn. So I had it in edit mode and I had... Um, the plane selected so this became part of that plane and you can see that right here so that is no bueno so let's undo that we'll go to object mode and now we'll add it add mesh cube and now you can see here it's uh, on its own so let's scale this down Zoom in a little bit. Scale it some more. That looks pretty good. All right, so now I want to move this so it starts right here at the uh, start of the windshield. So I'm just going to grab and move. And then Let's go ahead and flip into edit mode. And what I want to do is I want to pull this out so that it stops right about here. Now let's say it stops right about here where the turn happens. So I want to click on this face. So I click on the face. And then instead of extruding it, I'm just going to 
Click G for grab. And I'm going to pull it out. And it's all wonky. And the reason for that is because I didn't click uh, X axis. So let's try that again. Okay, selected. G for grab. And then X, because we want it on the X axis. Now when we pull it, it's smooth. It looks good. All right, now I want to spin this around. And I'm going to select this face. And I'm going to go G for grab. And then I'm going to go Y. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this all the way in so it's barely poking out. Barely. Okay, there we go. All right. Next thing we're going to do, now we'll start extruding. So I'm going to select the face. And I'm going to hit E for extrude. And then I'm going to extrude on the X axis. So I'm going to click X. And now I'm going to pull it out all the way to the end of the nose cone. And then I'm going to click that face. And I'm going to extrude it so it comes to like right here. So E for extrude on the X. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to E for extrude again on the X. And I'm going to pull it all the way to the end. That looks pretty good. Alright, so now I want to bring this in so it's not it's not a uh, going outside of this edge. So instead of face mode, I'm going to move to edge mode. I'm going to select this edge. And then I press G for grab. And then I'm going to pull it on the Y axis. Right, so I'm just fitting it in right there. And then let's go ahead and do the same thing with this edge. G for grab. Y axis, and I'm going to pull it out. G for grab. Y axis. Pull it out. Select. G, Y, pull it out, select G, Y, pull it out. All right, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to do the same thing for the top. So select G, and instead we're going to go Z, right, because that's up and down, Z. It up. Select G Z. Pull it up. Select G Z. Pull it up. Select G. Z, pull it up. All right, that looks pretty good. Now the bottom needs a little bit of work. This all looks fine. Actually, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now we've got our main body, and then let's move on to the engines. That'll be the next video.